the other two questions is how was it for you to relate faith in your sexual orientation? Mm -hmm. Just to share your personal insight on that. Sure. Um, we need to know, I mean, looking at the history and how things have changed over the years, we, we came from a time where the police were raid the clubs, when the police were entrapped men who are cruising in parks uh, back in the 80s, and we have come so far. We have gay clubs. I mean, we used to have no... Okay, we had one, yeah. uh, Vincent's, which has since closed down. But we have so many gay clubs to, to, and bars to choose from. We interact without fear, you know. Yeah. We've come a long yeah. way. Because I'm gay, I understand what it means to be bullied, what it means to be discriminated, what it means to be different, what it means to be ostracized, what it means to suffer, what it means to be alone. My suffering connects m me to other people's suffering. I'm sensitive to that. And I cannot sit by and not speak up for someone else who might be oppressed. Some people see our sexual orientation. A lot of LGBT Christians see sexual orientation, gender identity as a curse. I don't think so. I think it's a gift. Because it makes me different from other people. It makes me think and see things in a different light, from a different perspective. And that's perhaps the gift of diversity in God's creation. I learn how to see things in a different way and to appreciate beauty when people may not see beauty. And I think that that's, that's how I, I, I bring the two together. This is my gift. This is my special power.